What's up everyone? My name is Dora and you're watching Creative Bath Lab. Today I'm showing you how to make bubble wands. You can make any shape that you want. I'll be making a star shape and a bubble wand shape. The wands are really fun, not only for adults, but for kids too. Plus, they're great at making bubble baths. Please read the description for the recipe, helpful tips, and the supply list at the bottom. You'll need about 65 milliliters of liquid. The wet ingredients are completely up to you, but this is what I used. For fragrance, I'm using Avobath. It's a clean citrus scent that smells wonderful and strong. The surfactant enhances the bubble's performance and the glycerin keeps the dough moist. Add wet to dry and mix. Knead the dough so it pulls together. Knead and roll the dough to form a ball. Coat the dough ball with powder, like cornstarch or mica. Flatten the dough and make sure all the sticky parts are coated well. Flatten and shape the dough, mending any cracks that appear. Gently roll the dough, apply light to medium pressure. Now cut out shapes. You can use any shape that you want. Then cut out the center hole and immediately push the stick in. The stick will distort the dough. Just mend it with your fingers as you push the stick in. Repeat the process for round bubble wands. For a real bubble wand pattern, make indent lines on top by gently scoring the dough with a skinny object, like the side of a popsicle stick. Dry them two days. Gather the dough and start the process again. When the dough dries out and shapes start cracking, add a little bit of glycerin. The biggest issue I had was loose sticks. Use melt and pour soap to secure the sticks for good. You can do this even if the dough has broken off in the back. If your wand breaks, use a liquid surfactant as glue. Put it on both sides, then smush the bar back together and mend the cracks with your fingers. I 
I combined two eco glitters to decorate the star wands. Use a liquid surfactant to act as glue. And I used Purple Illusion Eco Glitter for the round wands. Place the wand in a shrink wrap bag. Pinch the bottom, then heat the bag on top. Finish the bag with a bow of ribbon or raffia. I don't think I have to tell you how much fun I had making these or using these. My face says it all. I crumbled half a bubble wand here. Then used a snowflake bubble wand for the rest. More on those at the end. The star wand created massive bubbles that wouldn't detach, so they'd eventually pop when they got too big. It was really fun playing with them and seeing how big I could get the bubble before it popped. I apologize, this tutorial is so late. I wanted this to be a Christmas or winter themed, so I created an entire tutorial on snowflake wands. But I wasn't satisfied and I knew that I could make them better, so I did.